John here. Today is Saturday, the um, 11th of June 2016. Just taking a break from going to the gym today. Um, so I'm just going to ring Sue Nakora and Gisborne, see if I get her this time. Have a little talk to her about coming to see her. Oh, she's there now. Yes, um, is Sue there, please? John Wan or here, who's that? Oh, thank you. Yes, I'm here. Yes, Sue, hi. Hello. Um, I'm coming to Gisborne on the 27th. Yeah, so I'm going to come and see you while I'm there. There's, yeah. Oh, I see. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, yeah. Uh, there's a land block meeting in Rotoria, one of the blocks I'm on, and uh, um, um, uh, they got a meeting for the Tumutumu Pairoa on Gladstone Road in their office there, and so I want to go and see what's uh, what's what's happening with the land block. And it'll be the same fashion for every other land block they're taking over with their trustees to um, develop it on the behalf of the shareholders. So I want to go and see uh, see them. Um, the, they wanted me to go to some other hui, but I thought I'd start from that one. And oh, okay. Oh, that's all right. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. So, um, um, anyway, you should be back in Gisborne by then anyway, the 28th. Y yeah, yeah, because uh, I just wanted to go and sort that lot out and then go down to Rangitukia and see um, Tom, Tom Reed and them. He's... you jump. He, he's running his Kiwi party. He's running his Kiwi party, his political party. Uh, I said, oh, do what you want and, and switch it when, when, when it's all over for John Key. Uh, so he can have a little dab at it and see what he, uh, he can organise himself there. Uh, so... Yes. Oh, they're, they're drilling on land or on the sea? On the land. Oh, okay. Well, that's the same as what we did in Tupuya there on that oil rig. Yeah, they blocked that one up and for no reason. And now they're going to have another crack at it. Um, but um, um, in any case, uh, that was my plan to come down and... Uh, try and get something cranked up um, on um, the Waipu River there, um, uh, the mouth, and um, oh, I should be, if you're back, if you're up, well I'm going down on the 27th, so I'll still be here, uh, so I'll still be here when you come up, so I've been expecting you to come up any time so I can waddle along with you. And uh, keep up with you, and just let Kingy know what's happening, because they're all open up there with us now. On oh, he's all right. He's just sitting by, waiting for you and me to make a move, because he's gonna snap that 
Watangi Marae of John Key <coughs> because that's where he's got his Yeah, that's uppermost. That that he's following what I'm saying now, so it'll open the way. Um, whose land claim? Whose land claims? Oh, they're not going anywhere because Ngāwhui hasn't sorted out how, how to get their land back themselves. And so they'll just wait for us. They'll wait for us, that's what I said to Kingi. Look, don't bother about anything, just wait till we're ready. And then we'll, we'll, we'll come and, uh, and sort, sort that all out from when we kick this off. Uh, they know, all those Ngāpui know this is the way to go. There's no other way because... No, he's alright. Yep. Yeah, they're holding the flag ready for you to come, come and do your thing and uh, take the country back. That, that's the theme I've got online now. Take, you can take the country back in the right... Oh, that can come. That, that's all right, but I'll just stick around the Waipu River mouth so that we can work on the other side towards Rotoria, uh, on the other land block on the other side of the river. Eh? Yeah, I think they know the, the time's up because there's too much fraud been happening and that's enough for to go against them now. They're a threat to with their private companies. They're, they're operating private companies, John Key, and he's being caught out with the, the Panama tax and that's what I'm using to go and bowl them out. And everybody can see now where the problems are um, in in the government and, and the Queen and everything happening over there. It's still the same Queen doing a skullduggery with John Key. We, we just hit John Key head on, but uh, Ngāpui's woken up now. They've left me. Fiji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, he's too smart. Vanuamama's got, got the Russians, and the Russians will kick John Key sideways in, in, in the Pacific. So that's what you really needed was that sort of uh, backup because there's no way that uh, China or Russia is going to let John Key and, and, and his mob throw them around in the Pacific. So for us, we're, we're better to watch. Yeah, yeah, I'm just making the lead. Yeah, I'm just, leave, I'm just working on the legal side of the land so you can utilize land. It doesn't matter Rotten Point or any land, it's all the same. It's all still one land. So we just do one block equals the rest. And Kingi's uh, Waitangi Marae, where it sits, he wants that land back. So that, that's just another piece of land I've linked that to, to, yeah, to Cook. Yeah, they know now I'm going to take it um, um, with Cook Street. See, the Cook Street, the, 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 the court hasn't said for me to go to court because they know they've got all this stacked up against them and and they're hanging out and yeah yeah that's uh, I'm, I'm working in with Kingi with Waitangi Marae authority of the flag in the, inside their Waitangi Marae where all the skullduggery going on see Mati Prai is the new ambassador right Oh, he's all right. He, he, he can do his thing, but just stay out of the road. He's not a politician, so he can stay stay do, doing his thing because he's boring. He bore me. Bore me. I said, look, I haven't got time to go around a second time. Uh, that's all done. I'm just going to carry on uh, this way with Sue and Kingy. There's only me, you and Kingy and this whole thing to make it work. That's it. That's that. I'm telling everybody online on, on YouTube and on, on Facebook. And everybody seems to think that's the right way to go. And and from Waitangi Marae, uh, that, that side with Kingi, he's got that wrapped up now. As soon as we get Cook Street going, they're all coming down to the, the court hearing, the Ngāpuis. Those 39 uh, uh, Marais have gone with what I'm doing and, um, and uh, Hohepa. So Hohepa's got all the Marais, Kingi's got the title here with the... With Kingy's got the land title for, for the Marae that's sitting on his land, with seizing the land.
that the Marais on, you see? That's the only way to, that's the only way to do it, is to seize that with the flagpole and the Marai and that eighteen forty obelisk and, and, and see the whole lot. Yeah, that's the only way to do it through the court while I'm in the court, you see. It's not costing me for the barristers. They're in trouble too for using the using the bond and my 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 bond to, to release me from prison for their money. That's they they that's what I got up against them using my name in capitals to get the money for them to pay themselves. That's what I have an issue with. Um, with the, what? Yeah, yeah, no, I don't want to keep... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's no other way around it, so I'm, 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 I'm there with you all, all the way through and you know, with documents, whatever, and pick up all the pieces around to clear the way out for anybody standing in the road or just going to knock them. That's what I'm doing. Okay. We'll see you. Bye. There we are. That's Sue. Sue Nakora in Gisborne. I managed to get out of this time. That's what I was trying to do before. Um, so she's ready to go to the United Nations. With me, I'm her legal advocate, uh, native sheriff uh, for King William with this flag. You heard what he's saying, or you can hear what she's saying. She's basically saying she's coming up to sign the uh, Reserve Bank for money from the UN. There's about 80 billion coming in from there to her bank. And I know how that works because I've got all the documents here for that. All right? I'm following with her, and all her documents are here. I have the copies of them here, and the lawyer's got them as well. Um, the barrister, the um, Charles Hirschfeld, she's coming up to sign some papers with him, with me. And I just relay to Kingy. Kingy's got the title of the land up in Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, this flag. Just to let you know, we're not mucking around. We have all the evidence to shut John Key down and take everything off him with the Sheriff's Property Arrest Warrant. Did you hear what I said? Property Arrest Warrant. I've got all those documents here in our fashion. Alright, so we didn't have to change much, just the driver at the front of the bus, John Key. We just changed. So if she's really got somebody to take that position, it wouldn't matter because she's very clever. She's more clever than them as being native to this land to know what to do to make the government accountable for all its fraud. I just show the fraud against the interests of the landowners, the native landowners and the people who are with us. Now you've got a choice. Stay with John Key and the Queen or come with Moai and the King William flag. Right? You've got a dud flag in uh, John Key's government. He's throwing it away and trying to make another flag. That didn't work. What else is not going to work is because he doesn't know what this means. Having accountability and straight up truth. He can't stand there without lying, just like Hillary Clinton. They're both the same and it's a shame that the Catholic Church, a lot of people up north in the Catholic Church, is changing its Bible. It's now going to the Quran and Islam. It, it's just changed. It's on, online now. Vatican to hold Islamic prayers for the first time in history. <coughs> just the Islam, they're going Islam, and just like that, just like a puff of wind, get rid of Jesus and go on to this Islam part. See? So those churches have come here to New Zealand and the Pacific Islands and the whole world to actually come and dupe everybody and then change the rules. He got rid of the 
his own law, the, the um, um, uh, UCC law, canon law, courier law, uh, and admiralty law. By the way, admiralty law belongs to the King William. That's where he made his fortune through this leg. Now he's got rid of it, you see. And um, um, civil law. He got rid of all those laws, right? Now he's got another law. It's going to be this one. And see what they do? They kill people, rape them, right in front of everybody. They go and push them off and corner them, catch them and take them away and rape them and take turns. This is, this is the Catholic Church for you, for goodness sake. And here's the Queen in the Church of England duping everybody out, causing fraud with the Pope. And it's all been church monster all the way through. And the, the, the dragons in Parliament, all the way along. I see, I see, <coughs> there's a challenge to the um, um, Crown uh, in Westminster, but that's got, that, she's already got rid of that into the EU Parliament and gone with it. You see, there's another article there that says that there's the end of Westminster in November the first last year. So. What she meant was, there's no more control coming from there. We've got the control in this flag to go to Westminster. I'm saying this out aloud. A public statement that we, the native of New Zealand, not Maoris, but Maori, native, Tahitian, origins, is going to England to raise this flag to pull Britain back together under the king. The queen has demolished everything, made a mess of everything, whipped everything she wanted out of the land. We're going to get all that back with Kingi and Sunakora. Right? We know what we're doing with 20 years experience in this business of investigating the fraudsters. John Keith, you're the fraud that we are taking into the Auckland District Court. You're number one. You're already in the High Court of Admiralty in London. I've already got a... Um, a complaint gone in there for you to Judge David Lindsay Mackey and your lawyer, who was my lawyer, Bar lawyer, Queen's Counsel, Yu Tai Choi, South Korean. See? South Korea. That's where the Americans are, creating all the havoc right through the world with the Queen, trying to take the whole world over by force. Unfortunately for you, it's just made one big hell of a mess. And Britain is in a mess at the moment. So I'm coming there with Jamie and we're going peacefully here to put this flag up and to kick off the Commonwealth Government of the world under King William and King Ernest Augustus the V in Devon, England. King of Hanover, King of Britain, UK. He's the King of Britain, UK, as was, as still is. And that's our authority. We show our oath to him and to King William and Maui statue standing in Queen Elizabeth's Great Court in London. It'll be King William's Great Court in London before long. And that's that. That's, that's the end of that. So now I'm going to ring Tamati Reed, uh, my good man in uh, Rangitukia, and see if I can raise him. Uh, he might be out. Oh, let's wait and see. He should have got his fish back home by now. Because he's gone out fishing with Joy. Come on. Oh, he's not here. Come on. No, he's not there. Anyway, we didn't get him. So, just one more time, briefly. Um, the time now is. 3.54 p.m. on Saturday, 11th of June 2016. That's John Wano. Uh, just updating on this latest phone call to Sue that uh, I'll be having a meeting in Gisborne. She says she'll see me before I see her. That's good news because I've been waiting for her to come up and start moving things along. Um, so um, um, uh, if she's up before then, we'll still meet in Gisborne. But we have one thing in common.
We want these lands back right now. John Key, you and your elite family through the world, your days are numbered. Rothschilds and all the elite families who are using us and this flag and our authority of King William IV. If you're found to be using it, you'll be singly picked out and the sheriffs will go in and under the King's Bench Court in Waitangi, Marae, that'll be seized from John Key and his government. It's man to man, John Key. You either got title to put in front of me and your affidavit to counterclaim me or out. Anybody else, you must use your surname if you're going to the court with me. You've got to use your own name that you were born with, not Whangai, not adopted name, your name in a native title if you want to claim against me and the Moai King William title. All right? I'm saying that your surname is your title. That's in the native court. Your surname is your title. I was here. Right? Wano was here or Manukau was here. That's what Mohi always told me in the Confederation. I was here. And he's got the birth certificate. You can see it online. 1830. The Manukau birth certificate. 1831, 1834. That's the title. I was here. I did not see you. Right? If you've got a birth certificate that's British, like that, because only the Rogans married the Wanoa and Manukau at that time, the Rogans were the judges. They made sure the birth certificates were in the right place. Right? That's why I'm saying I'm going straight back to my land block where the Rogans put the land blocks together at the East Cape and the Rogans put the titles together in Auckland. That's the ones I'm going on Cook Street. No one's going to argue about that. If you've got a better title, you better show me when I go to the court in Auckland District Court. Anybody who dares to put a title in front of me with your own name and your own whakapapa or genealogy to that land right back. Show me the evidence. That's what I'm saying. Everything's online. The judge doesn't have to look for any information from me. It's there for the pickings. Right? So, with saying that, I'm uh, just watching what's happening in the world, and especially America, uh, and some friends I have there. Uh, when it comes down to making claims, uh, you've got to go to a court. If you haven't got a court of your own, you have to use their court. If you can know what to do in their courts, you might get away once or twice, but not all the time. Here, you get it every time. It has the authority higher than America. This flag has more authority from Britain over America. This flag. Right? Why? Because it's the king's flag. No other king had a flag of commerce, of mortgages, liens, and bank loans. Okay, this is the only flag of independence. Declaration of independence, it's a state of emergency war flag. In case somebody gets in the road, like Cook Street, we put a state of emergency around Auckland on this flag as soon as we get this sorted out before we go to the court. We're putting a state of emergency around Waitangi Marae, all that block of Titi block, Waitangi blocks, Auckland, the whole of Auckland, and the East Coast. There, I'm telling you, a true story. If you haven't got a title that can match what I've just put online, on the East Coast, that much information, you lose. Okay, don't try, because there's nothing else that's legal that will match it. There's nothing else legal. No use looking at native titles because they haven't got any legal title to it. It's only got a native title which is neither here nor there and hasn't made any money yet. It wasn't made for money. It was made as the original title. And it's still got a problem because you've got people jumping the queue and ahead of the real native. Now, you can't be here if someone else was here. That's what I'm saying. A lot of these titles have been forged and 
uh, fabricated to fit the Crown's people in there. Any Maori that's in the iwi, you get the bill from this organisation, from Maori government or whatever government. But we have a Maori Crown, King William the Fourth, Commonwealth Government of the World, running under this flag at the same time as Sue running under this flag. This flag belongs to Ngāpui chiefs. It doesn't belong to anybody else. It's a contract. It's not anyone else's contract in the world. It was the government that put everybody into it to make it look like they're all included in this flag. No, not so. Not in our book. Not in the original Confederation book. All right? I know all the Confederation stuff. I've got it here. And if anybody's got anything better, you better go to court and take your case against me in any court in the world. Right? Any court in the world. Now that the Catholic Church has gone and changed, it's liable now. The Church of England's liable to this flag because they've abandoned ship of Admiralty. They've abandoned for something else. They've gone to something else. And all the commerce, all the banks, notes, all the pound notes, all the money that the Rothschilds ever made and America's ever made came from this flag of King William IV. At that time, he reformed the laws of England. All right? I'm just saying that as a native for all the indigenous people in the world following us, we have the answer in this flag for Canada, America, Australia, New Zealand, British, Britain, Britain, and India, but, um, India, uh, uh, Africa, and all the other Commonwealth countries, including the Pacific Islands. They've been duped into the church and been colonized that way that they've gone along with it and now they get the bill. The only thing we do here is to change the leaders and put new leaders in and carry on with the system and take it off them. We're going to leave everything as it is and change the rules and the laws can change themselves on the way. But we have our own law. We don't have to express our law because it's tough. It's a hanging rope law for any pirates to get in the way. I'm saying to those people on Cook Street, you got in my road and now the sheriff has to come and take the whole place over and you get everything taken off you. Everybody who's ignorant to what I was saying now that I've got this far in front of the whole world. You have to show your title in front of me, how you got there, where you got it from, who gave it to you, and who signed what. It's the same as my case. I'm saying to the court and my barrister, where did you get the authority to countersign my name and take money out of something that looks like me? I'm saying I'm claiming that someone back because it looks right like me and you're helping yourself to money through my image. I want my image back and everything that you've stolen from me and everybody else in this country and the world for that matter when I get this one done. My chiefs know, my <coughs> auntie knows, Sunakura, no one was listening very much to her all these years when she is the best politician for this country out. I know She's very good at quietening people on Titi Marae. She's been doing that for years, and I applaud her for doing all that, all these years, to keep the faith, to keep it going for all those other tupunas who have gone, Mohi Manikau and them, and um, uh, um, Richard Kake, and um, Hareu Tonga and Machi Tarawa, all those people who have gone, have did all the hard work, <laughs> to not get this far, and she's got this far, at her age, and Kingy um, being in the military. Vietnam went to the war there, the Agent Orange, all the rest of it. You can see his condition has been affected by all of that. He gets all the support from me to recover everything that was stolen while he was away at war, and Jerry Multiply, you get the bill too. Even though you're married, went to war with him, you sold his land, you sold it, and duped them, didn't tell them how you did it, and that's against you. I'll take you into court one by one. All your ministers in, in New Zealand Parliament, your legacy is 
is liable to each one all the way. You're in cahoots, you're, you're, you're accessories to the fraud. One to the other. One liable to the other. Amy Adams, you're the Minister of Justice. Detective Natalie Flower Dew Brown arrested me. She libeled you. You liable John Key. John Key liable Jerry Matapurai Andrews, the Governor General. He, Jerry, liable Queen Elizabeth. Queen Elizabeth liable the British government. The British government liable back this other way. The Queen liable John Key liable. Uh, uh, liable Jerry Matapurai, Governor General, liable John Key, liable the police, back to me, the creditor. Okay? That's how it works. That's how it works. The creditor and the sheriff sees everything because I'm accusing you, John Key, of causing fraud that allowed investors, overseas investors, to come here, channel money through here, and then take it out. And you got your whip out of it. We're going to do an audit on you. I'm ordering the British military. They come here after Sue gets the Reserve Bank going to the UN. I'll be actioning everything from that date on. All right, when we sign the documents, I'm just making this public because her ears and my ears listen to each other and Kingies. As nobody understands this because it's way beyond anybody. You had to be really good at doing this because it's a risky job if you get it wrong. We don't make mistakes, Mr. John Key, not as much as you and your ministers make so many mistakes. Like, <coughs> um, uh, what's her name? I can't think of her name, but she was the Minister of Social Welfare. Now, look what she's doing um, on the news making a big mess, right? And Judith Collins, Minister of Police, second time around, back to the police, stole the same fraud. Sean Elias, Chief Justice, another fraud. Right, goes on and on and on. On and on, the fraud goes. With the church, there's no church going to be in, in the government now, so what are you going to have in Parliament to swear to, John Key? That's what I want to know, what you swear to, and where you get your authority from, and whose jurisdiction. You're going to have to do that in front of this court, in the Auckland District Court, and those people waiting for me to go to the court. I'll have to go to court myself, not wait for them to take me to court. I'll go there and order them in there to come and stand in front of me. Right? Anyway, uh, that's long enough for this uh, video. I just wanted to um, let all those people know who are following us online on Facebook and YouTube. Um, that uh, we're getting close to where we are meant to be uh, in this whole world racket that's going on and it all comes down to the Queen letting Obama use our flag I'm saying this, this flag here is what Obama's using as a state of the emergency declaration of war it is a declaration of war flag from a king that's why they keep calling themselves king and he said he's a king and then changed his mind now he's king again See? They are turning around on a sixpence and don't know how this works, right? you got the sheriffs over there in, in, in America. Um, uh, they've got the authority to do a lot more than... But Obama signs the orders to wipe everything out like Hillary Clinton, wipe her fraud out um, um, f from what she did to... to forge the signatures uh, or the voting um, elections. That, that, that was clear to see the FBI is after them, um, after her and uh, Trey Gowdy, uh, who would more than likely to be the Secretary of State, the best Secretary of State for the USA is uh, Trey Gowdy. Um, uh, I can't see Hillary Clinton being trusted because she'll go along with the Islams to murder everybody in the world. That, they're good at murdering and assassinations. So I'm just saying, she's an assassinator, um, uh, Hillary Clinton, um, and her husband, 
is no no better off. And they're all in the same poisonous boat. They're the ones poisoning the skies and, and killing the, the, the fish and um, dipping the food, um, lacing the food, and all those evil things. The evil is in the Pope. He's the evil one that's making this whole world bad. It's, made, it's gone turning bad, and I'm just looking at online where, where so many things are going on in America, and it's not funny what they've been up to, to try and take over the world by force. And I'm very sad to see the kids um, uh, being married off by this Sharia law. This is where the evil is going. And they... That old man um, killed that little girl, eight years old, and couldn't take it. Having sex with her is not not in our books. That's not on my way. God, real God, way to treat people in this world. And it's all the evil that's online. It's just as well, Facebook said, to show all these evil things going on as a playing field. This information that I'm doing on Facebook is admissible in the High Court of Admiralty in London, straight here. So when I accuse somebody, they have to go to that court if I say so, because they've got our court case in there and they deal with these big court cases. I'm running our court cases from Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court, online. So anything you see online, I'm going to put the courthouse there. You'll see those pictures with the courthouse in England. Uh, the, the, the Rolls Building, King's, uh, the, the um, High Court of Admiralty, King's Admiralty in London. You see it on our Facebook page. That's our authority on that marae in Waitangi and in the Auckland District Court on the King's Bench side. There's supposed to be one native sitting opposite the judge to keep him in check. They took it out so that they can have a free reign. Well, the bill's on you now because the whole world's been duped by you lot, the churches, the both Catholic Church and the Church of England have defrauded the whole public of the world in the Parliament. The Pope ran the Parliaments in the world and the universities are all corrupted. It's all corrupted and he's trying to turn a new leaf with the money he's got and spin it again. No, 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 not going to happen. So we've got the power note against you now. You can see the power note I'm putting you there. That's legal, by the way. We made it legal on the 15th of March 2016 in Waitangi Marae, King's Bench Court. And they allowed us to go and do that with Kingy. So I'm matching that with Sunakora and Gisborne uh, with the authority of the Confederation of Chiefs, the original ones, not the ones that popped up here and there and everywhere. This is the Ngāpui one. I say Ngāpui because they are the ones that bothered to go to England. No one else went to ask the king for this flag. This flag is very powerful. In fact, it's the most powerful flag in the world is this one. We want to find who's using it and we will build them and take everything off them and change the whole system in Britain with the military. This is the British Navy. The the, the British Navy military flag, right? And the EU Parliament and, and government in Brussels is trying to, through the Queen, trying to take the British military into the EU Parliament and run by them. No, no. That's what I'm saying to the British military. Don't go anywhere. Stay there and wait for me to come there with this flag of authority to shut them down. Right? We're going to shut them down and not let them bully us around. This, the devil, you know, then the devil you don't. I'll stick to the devil, we know, then the devil, we don't. The queen usurped the king in England, and whatever she usurped and made fraudulent money, we take off her. The whole up right through the world. That's the British, there's an affidavit. I, John Hawani Kahaki Wainoa, swear to God Almighty that I'll tell the truth and nothing but the truth. So help me God, I'm right. And so is the people who are following us. Believe what we say and do is the right law of the land.
belongs to the people. So that be God. It's true. It is our sovereign authority, solemn, sovereign jurisdiction of King William IV. Flag to God Almighty for us to use his land and his will in the right manner without force on another people's land. There. That's it. That's my statement of confidence in this flag. And the King of England, King Ernest Augustus V, descendant of King William IV, jurisdiction that we swear to. And we swear to Moai, Earth God, Almighty out there. The power that we possess in our bodies. Right, that's me said. And everything I'm saying is sworn testimony online. That's why the judge Colin said to my barrister, I don't have to hear anything. You tell me what John wants you to hear, for him to hear, because it's already on YouTube. That's what this video is for, is to alert the courts, the judges, the barristers, lawyers, and the Parliament of New Zealand, and the world for that matter. What I say is my truth. It's for you to refute or counterclaim against any claim I make a statement online or in the court in Auckland. I stick by my word with all the evidence and witnesses watching what I write on Facebook. 1.5 billion people and more on Twitter and more again on YouTube. Right? So that's my witness in this online court of Admiralty, King's Bench Court. Jurisdiction, Constitution 1835, Constitution 1852, UK British Government. That's my authority. I'm stating to you on this video, in front of the whole world, what we're going through to let you see how we are handling the situation of fraud inside the New Zealand government and John Key, the administrators of that government, acting for their own private contract interests as a threat to the public of New Zealand and the chiefs, natives, and their administrators' interests. Right? So, really, it's treason that we're having them up for, espionage, and theft of land, and especially theft of identification, ID theft of birth certificates and bonds for the stock market to gamble on. They are Gamblers, I accuse them of being gamblers, gambling our lives away, gambling our country away, gambling the property away, gambling everything away. John Key, no more. Enough is enough. That's what the world says. And you're leading the Queen's business through the world from our land in Waitangi. We're seizing off you. I make this statement quite clear. The land belongs to Kingi and his Hapu, not iwi. The iwi is your invention of Maori word and iwi word in the Crown's Corporation Trusts. All your trusts are now liable, including the one I'm going to down in Gisborne and the East Cape, because Sue is there to come along to tell them the story of what I'm just saying. The land returns. The land stolen, the land returns. The original owners. He was here first. Where were you? That's 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 what I'm saying to the judge. I was here. Where were you? Who are you? And what are you here for? And this is what you've done. And forever take it off you. Okay? So that's basically what I can say for now because that's enough for one video. Um, but I just want to 
look at the time now and I can't go to the gym, it's too late. And just carry on and do more work. And I'm glad that um, Jan is coming with me to Gisborne to learn real estate. This is just the beginning of real estate for her. And uh, with Desmond, um, he'll learn a lot about taking over from myself um, when I'm not there. And I go over and travel with Jamie over to England and Ireland and Scotland and um, Denmark and across to uh, the, the Pacific Islands, up to East Island, Variety Island, and um, back here. I have to visit Russia at some stage and China, but not just yet. We're just talking about our own origins. The Cosgrove family in um, Ireland, Northern Ireland, and Dublin. If you're watching this video, please leave a message for me because I'm going to find somebody there in our family under Rebecca Cosgrove, uh, Rebecca, and Mary name. Um, married uh, my grandfather, Mataru Wanoa, to make me. So that's our connection into um, Ulster and the northern part of Ireland. And then Cosgrave is the other name that came out of Cosgrove that went to England. I worked in the League of Nations, uh, the beginning of the World Bank. The League of Nations turned into the World Bank. So it went from the Akaroa Bank in New Zealand, or the Old Oil Bank, then the BNZ Bank, and then went from there into the League of Nations Bank, and then it went from the League of Nations right across to the World Bank and um, United Nations. So everything the United Nations put together is still under this flag and the native here, us. That's still our legacy track. We follow the trail of the money and the gold. It comes right back here and this flag right here, sitting in Waitangi, Marae, King's Bench Court. That's where the Queen runs her business for the whole world and King William. Right, so what happens in this case uh, with um, um, Ireland and Scotland, Scotland being the Rogans, uh, Scottish English, um, part of our family in the titles, the Manukau title that I'm going to Scotland for to check up the um, uh, registrar and see the connections to here will, sh will match up before I go to Westminster with that evidence and find what's going on in there from the League of Nations. Where the money went from the League of Nations through to the World Court, uh, World Bank, and the pound note. How the pound note fitted and the pound note we have to take the pound note off the Rothschild and their fraudulent dealings with the Queen and the Pope. You can see now the Pope is just one big Satan. The whole thing. Eight-year-old child dies during sex with 40-year-old husband on wedding night. It's not rape. That's what they're saying here. This uh, America and the, the, these Muslims. That's their, that's their custom. Um, so uh, I'm, I'm devastated by what they're doing with kids exploiting kids and here it says Israel gives warning to Russia and US what Israel is only a little piddly little island but it's getting its money stealing all its money from the Americans and and Obama's feeding them money feeding them money so they can buy their arms and shoot everybody up over there well that's going to end the Russia will just drop a bomb on them sooner or later and here it is Russia slaps Israel in the face I'm just reading things that are latest because I'm watching what's going on in this world. I'm watching what's happening in America and the Vatican and the Queen. Their behavior has got worse. It's a devilish behavior. When they started off after the King William died, it, that's where it went downhill. And the federal rules 
court rules, Americans have no rights to conceal carry. This is guns. They're not allowed to, they've been told they're not allowed to, for their own protection, and they get shot up if they don't give their guns over. That's, that's, um, um, that's the worst offence out. The, 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 the Constitution was put together so that these things don't happen. They got rid of the Constitution, and Hillary Clinton is getting rid of the, the Constitution Amendment Act and, and do what she wants to. Um, right, that's, that's that one. Um, I can't see the other ones I was going to show you. Um, there's so many going on. There's so many things going on, it's not funny. Vatican to hold Islamic prayers for the first time in history. I just said that a minute ago. I'm just going through this. John Key heads to Fiji, first official visit. Well, Bani Marama um, is gone with the Russians. He, he's got their military because John Key was threatening uh, Bani Marama in Fiji that if he didn't get out, he would be replaced while well, he's still there. All the things that are happening, you can see the shift. You can see who's misbehaving. It's those people at the top. The elite people are starting to panic and run off in all directions. They're killing anybody inside that that is a threat to them. They are the threat. This flag was put together for threat. And someone's using it to threaten others. That's Obama. Is using it. I'm accusing him of using the flag. To threaten and Hillary can have used this flag to threaten everybody. They won't show this flag, they'll just put up another one to make out. But they're using it because the Queen lets them use it. It's the Queen that's liable this flag to others to use. So that's all I think that, that I, want, I, I wouldn't want to keep looking for those other articles. But uh, anyway, um, I'll give Tamati a ring later on and see if he's back home and to tell him the good news we're coming down um, to see him in Rangitokia. So that's all for now. Thank you very much. Enjoy this video and be with us, stick with us all the way through. Mai and the King William Trust. Thank you very much.